what is up guys this is Sarshat Samir welcome to the third window builder tutorial in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to handle the user events so before handle handling a user event we need to have a simple window so let's create a simple window file new Java project I'm gonna create a project I'm gonna give it as uh, what what to give just and under this folder you can see there's a full fo uh, source folder new and instead of creating class we need to create a JFrame a window so that come into JFrame next and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to give it as window and finish so as you can see here is the auto generated code let's go into the uh, design part there we go so as you can see here is the window so before create before placing any components I'm gonna uh, put a title for this window uh, to put the title just come right here and put whatever you want I'm just gonna put it as title and as you can see here it's gonna place title here you can see title and it defaultly has border layout and I discuss about this border layout in the previous video so what I'm going to do is that I'm going to place a J panel on the node so that I can place more than one component so what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to place it a label so that I can type whatever I need inside that uh, what to type like mm, this is for just understanding the user events make sure this I spell wrong this is for just understanding the user events just keep it as like this and if you want to change the font size and the design of this font you can click on this font and just make it as bold and if you want to increase the size of the font just you can give whatever you want and I'm going to give it as 815 Tahoma bold so as you can see here it got changed and now let's do the next works and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to place a text field and the label in the center so that I have more than one component I need to have a, I need to pay I need to place the uh, J panel so that I can place more than one component in the center what I'm going to do just simply place this J label and I'm going to name it as username and so let's place a text field too so that I can enter any username and the variable name for this text field is you can see right here text field and I need a button so I need to put that button button right here so that I need to have a J panel here inside and I'm going to put a button inside this I'm going to click it write it as like you know how to write just click me so that if anyone click on it something gonna happen so what is use event is all about the event handler is pretty much like it's it gets executed when an, when an event occurs that's what basically happening for an example after type in this as far as this example is concerned after typing a username inside this after typing the username and when I click this button something gonna happen that's what user event is user event is pretty much like clicking the button dragging and all these stuffs are user events and what I'm going to do is that after clicking this button the text field gonna appear in the console that's what I'm basically gonna do so when I click the button the event is of the, the particular event occurs so that something gonna happen so if I want to do anything 
when I click the button I need to handle an event so right click on it just add event handler action action perform so that you'll be coming to here just make it as E and what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that particular text name in a text field so string uh, I'm going to name it name the variable as name and I need to get the text so I need to know the variable name what is the variable name this is the variable name of that particular text field so just copy it and paste right here dot get text so that you'll be able to get the text after clicking that particular button and I want to print it out so that you can see inside the console dot print line I need to simply put this name so that you can print it out the particular name so let's run this simple interface this is the most worst interface I think is because you know this is just for understanding not for implementing any uh, high level forms or whatever it is uh, just for understanding purpose so let's enter any name I'm going to enter Shat Shamir so that when I click on this click me it's gonna print Arshad Samir so when I click multiple time it's gonna print Arshad Samir Arshad Samir Arshad Samir like that and when I type anything else why you YouTube and you can see here it's gonna type YouTube this is what I wanna tell for this tutorial and thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to click on the thumbs up button I'll see you in the next tutorial.